Hello everyone, my name is DJ. You're watching the Jumbo Commander YouTube channel. Today I wanna to talk about some new cards from Phyrexia All Will Be One. There is a really fun strategy that got a little bit more support. I'm talking about power matters. So let's talk about some of the best and most powerful cards in Magic right now. First, I wanna talk about the inspiration for this deck. It's Zopendril Hunger Dominus. Five green green for a four six legendary Phyrexian Horror. It has reach and at the beginning of each combat, double the power and toughness of each creature you control until end of turn. You can pay a Phyrexian green and a Phyrexian green sacrifice two creatures to put an indestructible counter on Zopendril Hunger Dominus. Doubling the power of your entire team is huge. If you have a board, it makes it twice as big. And this synergizes with a lot of other big creatures in Commander. I mean, talk about battle cruiser magic. Zopendril can turn your army into something huge. And also, it just synergizes with everything else that makes your army big. Think about playing this next to a natural growth. One green, 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 green for an enchantment at the beginning of each combat, double the power and toughness of each creature you control until end of turn. Uh, when you double something and then double it again, then the creature gets four times as big. So you can see that all of these cards work together and create a really deep synergy. God Eternal Ronus won't double your team every single turn, but it's got a powerful enter the battlefield effect of doubling your team. Now you can imagine your creatures getting huge. Pathbreaker Ibex takes a huge creature and makes your team even bigger. Four green green for a three three creature goat. Whenever Pathbreaker Ibex attacks, creatures you control gain trample and get plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. And then we have Xenagos God of Revels, which gives haste and plus X plus X, where X is that creature's power until end of turn. So you can see how all of these would come together to make some truly massive creatures. So when we're talking about getting the most damage through, obviously all of this double power synergizes and gets our creatures huge. But then another mechanic that works well is a double strike because that's another double. Two-handed axe is a great example, although there's lots of creatures that give double strike. Two-handed axe is great because it's got one in a red for an adventure called Sweeping Cleave. It's an instant and target creature you control gains a double strike until end of turn. And of course, this could be cast for its equipment half, the two-handed axe, two and a red, whenever equipped creature attacks, double its power until end of turn. Here's another instant speed spell that can be a great combat trick. It's Berserk. Berserk is a single green mana for an instant. You can only cast it before the combat damage step. Target creature gains trample and plus X plus O until end of turn where X is its power. At the beginning of the next end step, destroy that creature if it attacked this turn. So yeah, you're gonna cast this on something and yes, it will die at the end of the turn, but that's okay because you've done a ton of damage. You've also granted it trample. See, some sort of evasion is gonna be really important when when you're doubling and doubling and doubling its power. If it can just be chump blocked, like it might have to be, then uh, you're not getting full value. So granting trample, evasion, something like that could be really important. So let's talk about the creature that grants evasion based on its power, it's Champion of Lampold. One green green for a one one human warrior, creatures with power less than Champion of Lampold's power can't block creatures you control. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on Champion of Lampold. So you play this early, play a couple other creatures, and then small creatures can't chump block you. But if you double Champion of Lampold's power a couple times, then uh, nothing's gonna be able to block you and your whole huge team gets in for lethal. A lot of these bonuses are temporary or just at the beginning of combat. I like that Halana and Elena partners can grant bonuses permanently based on their power. Two red green for a two three legendary human ranger for strike and reach. At the beginning of combat on your turn, put X plus one plus one counters on another target creature you control or X is Halana and Elena's power. That creature gains haste until end of turn. The haste is really powerful because you want to immediately deploy your big creatures. Also, the fact that this is triggering on combat is good because some of your other power doublers also trigger on combat. So you can stack your triggers effectively so that Halana and Elena are as big as possible before distributing those plus one plus one counters. And those counters stick around, which is good because then it makes the power bonuses bigger and bigger every single turn. But look, if this entire strategy was just about making things big and turning them sideways, it would be kind of boring. You need to be able to find some extra value when it comes to power matters. And so I'm interested in mana and card draw when it comes to this effect. 
we've got a few great examples of man advantage based on creature's power. I think the best one is Sylvala Heart of the Wilds. One green green for a 2-3 legendary elf scout. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card if its power is greater than each other creature's power. So a little power manners boost. You can pay a green, tap, add X man in any combination of colors where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. There are a few other mana dorks out there that give you a little bit of a boost if you're casting a big creature or have a big creature on the battlefield, but Silvala is by far the biggest influx of mana. But if I'm talking about a big mana mana rock, I wanna talk about the Great Henge. This is seven green green, nine mana for this, but its cost is reduced by X, where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. Oftentimes in decks like these, you just play it for green green and it taps for two green and you gain two life spectacular. And so this synergizes perfectly with this deck, not to mention this transitions us into the next step, which is card draw. Because whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on it and draw a card. Woo, the Great Henge. I mean, no one's surprised that the Great Henge is good. I mentioned the mechanic on the Great Henge. I also have to give a shout out to Galta Primal Hunger, another big creature with Trample that doubles its power really well, that also synergizes perfectly, having its mana cost reduced by X, where X is the total power of creatures you control, meaning this is another big, powerful spell that can be cast for just green, green. All right, let's draw some cards. I think the classic is Rishkar's Expertise, four green green for sorcery, draw cards equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. And then you can cast a card, mana value five or less for free. That's great value. Uh, next, we got Return of the Wild Speaker, which synergizes nicely because you got this big card draw. Let me read it. Four and a green for an instant, draw cards equal to the greatest power among non-human creatures you control, or non-human creatures you control get plus three, plus three until end of turn. Uh, you're not gonna have a ton of humans in this deck, sorry, Halan and Elena, but most of them are gonna be big, beefy creatures, like, you know, dinosaurs or Phyrexian horrors or zombie gods. Those are all one-off effects. How about Greater Good, an enchantment that can sit on the battlefield and give you that card draw whenever you need it, making sure your creatures never go to waste. Greater Good is two green green for an enchantment. Sacrifice a creature, draw cards equal to the sacrifice creature's power, then discard three cards. Then we've got Minsk and Boo, Timeless Heroes. It has some great power synergies and some awesome card draw. Two red green for a three loyalty legendary planeswalker, Minsk. Minsk and Boo, Timeless Hero, enters the battlefield and at the beginning of your upkeep, you may create Boo, a legendary 1-1 one -one red hamster creature token with trample and haste. Love that it has haste, love that it is trample. You can plus it to put three plus one plus one counters and up to one target creature with trample or haste. That doesn't have to be Boo, it could be some of your other important creatures. Uh, you can minus two, sacrifice a creature. When you do, Minsk and Boo, Timeless Hero, deals X damage to any target, where X is that creature's power. A, a fantastic fling effect. This could just take someone out after you've pumped your Galta to some unimaginable amounts. But if the sacrifice creature was a hamster, draw X cards. This is fantastic because it can be that like machine gun fireball nuke you with a big creature, or it can be this great card advantage as you keep killing, as you keep killing Boo over and over again. Uh, also, Minsk and Boo, Timeless Heroes, can be your commander, which is a nice little interesting text. I mentioned Fling already, but I really like Kazul's Fury because it can be a land, because Fling is like, uh, it's very narrow. You do kind of want that effect in this deck, but it'd be really nice if it's also a land. Kazil's Fury. And then Ram Through. I love that because it's one in a green for an instant target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. If the creature you control has trample, excess damage is dealt to that creature's controller instead. So this could be an instant speed removal spell with your big creatures. Fantastic. But attached to a big trampling creature like that Galta that's had its power doubled and doubled and doubled. Yeah, you just ram through and kill someone at instant speed. Oh, fantastic. Now, every card that I've mentioned so far is red or green. And one of the reasons why is because number one, um, they do a lot with power matters. That's kind of the colors that uh, have that strategy. Number two, um, I'm building a power matters deck. In fact, if you're interested in doing an in-depth deck tech of that power matters commander deck, check out my next video. You should subscribe and hit that bell icon so you know that it's coming. It's gonna be an in-depth look at every single card just old school commander deck tech style. It's gonna be a fun time. Um, but of course, 
Power Matters isn't just for red or green. There are a bunch of different colors that can take advantage of this. I mentioned Double Strike being a really powerful effect in those big power strategies, and white has a ton of Double Strike in it. I mentioned Evasion. Blue and white also have great evasion. I mean, think of a card like Ashai Ojitai Dragon Speaker. Uh, this card gets huge. It has evasion. You're one Double Strike away from killing someone. I actually have an Ashai Ojitai Dragon Speaker deck. It's partnered with Tana the Blood Sower, and they work particularly well. Tana the Blood Sower also opens up a whole new strategy. See, Tana the Blood Sower says whenever it deals combat damage to a player, create that many 1 1 green sapperling tokens. Okay, the text that many is phenomenal in Commander because it synergizes with all of these other power matters type strategies. And so if you just do a search for that many, you get a ton of powerful cards. You know, in green, you have create that many, just like the Blood Sower, like Living Hive or Old Gnawbone creating that many treasures. Also creating that many treasures is the Reaver Cleaver, which is great. We have Varchild, Betrayer of Car Keldor, creating that many survivors that you get to steal from your opponents. Uh, you've got Lothro, Blade of Elves, creating that many elves, or Wand of Orcus, creating that many zombies. Uh, Zira, Zyrus the Writhing Storm, drawing that many cards, creating even more snakes. Uh, Cephalid Constable, mono blue, bounce that many things. And by the way, that's target permanence. You can start bouncing lands. Cephalid Constable pairs wonderfully in Power Matters decks. And so you see, it's not just red and green that can take advantage of this. You can include Power Matters strategies in tons of different decks. Look, big creatures are just fun in Commander. They kill your opponent's dead, and they survive those damage-based board wipes. They hold equipment super well. They fight. They double strike. They threaten planeswalkers. They threaten people's lives. This is a super fun strategy. In fact, join me for the deck tech coming up soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to pick up some of these Power Matters cards, head on over to Cool Stuff Inc. And when you do, make sure to use the coupon code JUMBO5 because that's going to save you 5% off your order. Thanks, Cool Stuff Inc. And also, thanks to my patrons. They're amazing and they support this channel. Thank you. And thanks for watching. See you all in the next video. Bye bye, everyone.